Hi guys, this is James from the Gray Matters blog. I'm coming to you on my walk yet again to bring you another poem. Uh, we're trying a little different format this time, kind of see which one you guys like better. Um, the poem I'm talking about this time is actually one I wrote for my wife, Sharon, who is the most amazing and bravest person I've ever met. And I've always been just amazed by her courage. And as a lot of you guys know who followed us, she has multiple sclerosis, a lot of disability that she's dealing with, and she has always dealt with it just in the most amazing way possible. And this is a poem I wrote for her. It's a little Shel Silverstein, a little bit kind of kid's poem, but I've always been really fond of it. So this is called, I Think That You Might Be a Tiger. I think that you might be a tiger. I think, but I really don't know. Your fur isn't orange as the sunset, nor striped and white as the snow. Your teeth are not sharpened like sabers. Your claws cannot scale a tall tree. Your tail doesn't lash like a bullwhip. In darkness, your eyes cannot see. You never have hunted the Arctic. In treetops, you never have laid. But I think that you might be a tiger, because tigers are never afraid. So that was I Think That You Might Be a Tiger, as I said, that I wrote for my wife, who is absolutely amazing. I started off really wanting to write a poem talking about how brave she was, and I had some really high-minded and epic ideas, and for some reason, the Shel Silverstein child children's poem is the one that I really felt encapsulated the best, but if you've ever met my wife and know her sense of humor, then I think it probably fits. So let me know how you guys like this video, if you like this setup where I'm actually showing you guys some scenery rather than my face. So check out this one, check out the other one, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, like and share, let me know if this is terrible, like it even if you don't like it, and I'll talk to you guys on my next walk. Thanks.